Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every single one of you. It is Hunter's Point here with another video. I hope you all are doing well this morning. I wanted to come on here real quick and report on the earthquake situation that's unfolded within the past few hours. I've got two articles here off of endtimeheadlines.org, so I'm going to read them right now. This will be your world news update for the 10th of February. 2021. So let's start with the initial article. A powerful 7.9 earthquake strikes off the coast of the Loyalty Islands. A powerful 7.9 magnitude earthquake has struck southeast of the Loyalty Islands. The event is currently being monitored to determine if there is a threat to the United States West Coast. This is still a developing situation and we will bring you more as we get further information. And then now we read the second article, which kind of follows that one. Nine huge earthquakes have struck Indonesia in a four-hour period, sparking fears of a larger event. Powerful earthquakes have struck off Indonesia and New Caledonia, sparking fears of a larger event that may be coming. Uh, an earthquake of a magnitude 6.2 struck southwest of Sumatra, Indonesia on Wednesday. The European Mediterranean Seismological Center said the quake was at a depth of 30 kilometers. That's roughly 18.64 miles, according to the EMSC. It struck around 217 kilometers to the southwest of Bengkulu, a city of 328,000 people, at 1952 local time. That's 12.52 GMT. Sri Lanka's Department of Meteorology said in a statement it does not expect the earthquake to impact its island. Meanwhile, an earthquake of a magnitude 7.7, .7, that's the 7.9, so it's come out that it's been downgraded to a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake, struck southeast of the Loyalty Islands on Wednesday, according to the European Mediterranean Seismological Center. The quake's epicenter was 401 kilometers east of Tadine, New Caledonia, and was at a depth of 2 kilometers, according to the EMSC and what they said in a statement. In response, a tsunami warning has been issued with waves of between 0.3 and 1 meter possible for Fiji, uh, Vanuatu, and New Zealand. Sri Lanka's Department of Meteorology said in a statement it, it once again does not expect the earthquake or potential tsunami to impact its island. Meanwhile, an earthquake of a magnitude 7.7, .7, the one that struck the Loyalty Islands on Wednesday, had a, once again, an epicenter of 401 kilometers east of Tadine in New Caledonia and was at a depth of 2 kilometers and once again is causing potential tsunami waves of anywhere from 0.3 to 1 meter possible for some of the surrounding regions, including New Zealand and Fiji. So that is the situation. That's what I know presently. Um, that all has to do with the earthquake situation. There was a 7.9 magnitude earthquake that hit southeast of the Loyalty Islands, and it was downgraded to a 7.7, .7, which is still extremely strong. And then now you have that to accompany eight other earthquakes. So that makes nine total huge earthquakes of between you know a 6 and a 7 magnitude that has hit Indonesia within a nine-hour period. And I believe that they are also including upper fives in this region. So you're talking anywhere from a 5.4 all the way up to what is now a 7.7 .7 earthquake. And this looks to be all across the ring of fire, stretching all around Indonesia and New Caledonia. That's why they were initially worried for the West Coast here in the States, but looks like those worries have been subsided. It's primarily New Zealand, Fiji, and Vanuatu, some of the surrounding islands uh, off the coast of the Loyalty Islands where the initial quake struck. So that's what's going on there. I actually wanted to read Matthew 24 because I just think more than ever it's appropriate, especially with earthquakes of these magnitudes. Matthew 24, and I want to read verse 6 to 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. We're seeing more earthquakes of a magnitude 6 or higher than I believe we've ever seen before. It's just insane the level of earthquake activity that we're seeing right now. You know, as somebody who watches Dutch Sense, I, I'm not sure if you guys watch him. He's like my go-to uh, seismological channel. I've never seen him so active before, and that's saying something because he's typically been very active when it comes to seismic activity. But it's like that poor guy hasn't gotten a break because there's just been so many earthquakes of a magnitude 6 or higher. It's just insane. So be watching out for that, particularly across the entire ring of fire, because if this is happening within the Indonesia, 
you know, in, in some of the surrounding islands, even remotely close to that. Like, if it's happening over there, eventually it's going to span across the entire Ring of Fire. And, you know, over here in the States, particularly, you know, along the West Coast, whether it be Washington, Oregon, or California, eventually, sooner or later, they're going to have to start worrying about an increase further in seismic activity. So, that's what's going on. I'm not going to ramble any further. That is the news as we know it right now, what is going on across Indonesia, New Caledonia. And uh, just the, the powerful earthquakes that have struck within the last four hours. Nine huge earthquakes. Um, you know, of course, the, the latest being the 7.7 .7 earthquake. Originally reported as a 7.9, was later downgraded by 0.2 to a 7.7 .7 status. Still, obviously, an extremely strong earthquake that has triggered minor tsunamis from it. No word right now if there's been any direct impacts. All we know is that they've issued tsunami warnings for waves of between 0.3 and 1 meter. So that is the news. That's what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and give you all the gospel. That'll conclude the world news update portion of the video for the 10th of February. Now I will read the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 to 4, and it says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures ties him up, of course, as always, with John 3, verse 16 to 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son, of God. Let's go to Acts chapter 16, verse 30 to 31. This was the uh, this was the Philippian jailer that asked Paul and Silas, you know, how do I get saved? What must I do to be saved? Acts 16, 30 to 31. And the Philippian jailer brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. It has nothing to do with your performance or behavior. No amount of good works will ever save you. All right, it's important you understand how salvation actually works and how simplistic it is like it's so easy to get saved a child could get saved there's many children out there that get saved on a daily basis because i say it all the time childlike faith is all it takes it's not your own accord or merit that you're saved it's by believing entirely what christ did on the cross alone that's what actually saves you ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9 says for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works lest any man should boast grace is getting what we don't deserve Right, which is the free gift of salvation, the gift of God, and it's given to us, and we receive it by faith, right? By belief in Christ alone. It's not of our own accord or merit. It's not our performance or behavior. It's by believing the gospel, putting our full faith and trust in what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us on the cross alone. That by itself, nothing else, just that, the gospel of Christ, that alone is what saves us, okay? Christ died on the cross, shedding his precious blood for the remission of all mankind's sins. That's past, present, and future sins. He was buried in the tomb three days, proving he was dead. And he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, for your justification and salvation, right? You are saved and justified by faith alone in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ alone. So if you're watching this video right now, if you've stumbled across my channel page and you are a non-believer, I would implore and greatly encourage you to believe the one true gospel of grace today. How that Christ died for your sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. You believe that alone? You are indwelled with Holy Spirit, whereby you're saved and sealed with it unto the day of redemption. That's a paraphrase of Ephesians 4.30. It's so easy to get saved. Will you believe the gospel and get saved today? choice is yours. All right, so I'm going to leave you off there. That is the news I wanted to bring, of course, with the very simplistic gospel presentation. As always, I love giving the gospel. It's really my favorite part of doing this. Right? I think it's more important than ever before that people hear the one true gospel of grace, the correct gospel, believe it and get saved because time is very, very short. So I will leave you all there. I will see you guys in the next video should the Lord tarry is coming. Otherwise, God bless. All right, take care, you guys.